hello everyone so in this video we are talking about how to do cross account access using iim rules now before we talk about what is cross account access or why it is needed let's first look at our problem statement now let's say that you have multiple aws accounts one you're using for development one for staging one for production workload okay and you have one person known as tim who would be managing all these accounts so let's say he's the cloud engineer and he would be managing the development staging and production account okay now in order for him to manage the account i would need to go to identity and access management service and i would need to create the role uh, sorry i would need to create the user for him and i would need to assign him necessary permissions okay and once that is done okay you the stem user can log into these different different accounts and he can manage it but this is a problem for him that is a challenge challenge is that i would need to do the user creation process multiple times i have three accounts i would need to do it thrice for the user it would be difficult to remember the password let's say each of the account has their own password uh, policy requirement and they would need the user would also need to reset the password for three different accounts let's say every 30 days or every 60 days based on my password policy and let's say that in future you plan to add more users or more employees some of them are developers some of them are cloud engineers some of them are architects and in doing this let's say you have uh, some inconsistency in creating the user and you forgot to give the users uh, or you forgot to create users in let's say staging account or in C production account uh, I, then identifying this issue and getting the access issue fixed for the user would be tedious okay now to ease this thing what we can do is we can take off help of IAM rules so I can designate one of the accounts as my AWS management account it could be one of my existing account or I can just simply create a new AWS account I can call it as AWS management account and inside this account I'll go to identity and access management and I'll create all the necessary user in this scenario I'll create the user Tim okay and then inside different workload accounts development testing production or staging i'll create the iam role okay and i'll create the iam role for the aws management account so that management account users management account iam users can switch roles okay and they can log into development production staging without having the user or without remembering the password for this account so how does without remembering the password thing works since we are using iam roles users would be able to get temporary credentials and they would be able to assume role okay and they would be able to access accounts so this eases the process of uh for the users or i would need to create the user only one time and for the users they don't need to remember different different password and they can switch role and they can get access to different different accounts okay so this is uh the cross account thing now let's do this let's implement this thing so what i've done is i have uh two aws account let's say this is my aws management account okay and i also have an aws testing account so here all my test related workloads would be deployed so inside my aws management account i'll go to identity and access management and I'll create a user. I'll create a user called as Tim. I'll give him the console access. I don't want to reset the password, so I'll say next. Next. And I'll create this user. Now I'll go to this user. Now this user needs to have one permission. I'll create an inline policy. He would need to have permission to access HTS service to get the temporary credentials. Whenever he's trying to switch role, he requires the HTS permission so that he can do an API call to HTS in backend. Okay, and get the temporary credentials so he can switch to another accounts. So I'll create a inline policy very quickly with HTS full access and this is associated to this user okay you can optionally also use power user access so the power of power user uh, IAM policies already pre-created you can simply assign that policy also and it would also do the work for us okay now once this is done in your management account you copy the account ID 
and now i'll go to my test account okay and i'll go to identity and access management and here i'll create a role and i'll create the role for another aws account and i'll put my management account id or account number over here and this role will have permission to s3 so let's say the user who would be assuming these roles would be able to just manage s3 as of now no other service so whatever permission you add in future based on that user will whenever the user assume this role or switch this role they would be able to access those services here i'll give it a name i'll call it as wm role and i'll create this role now once this role is created i'll go back to the management account and i'll log in as the user the tim user over here tim im user which we have created so let's quickly get the sign in url login as tim and now let's say tim wants to access the testing account testing aws account where my test workloads would be deployed so you can click on switch role you would need to put the account number for the test account so this is the test account id put the account id over here and the role name which we have created now this has to be exactly the same and i'll call this as testing account and i'll switch the role and here we are so now we are inside the test account and if i go to s3 service since that i am role which we have assumed it has s3 permission i can see s3 buckets over here and if i go to ec2 service I cannot see EC2 related things over here. So it gives me an error. Okay. So this is how you can switch accounts. So in now if I have more accounts, I'll go to each of the accounts and I'll create IAM role for the management account. Same process I would follow. And I'll give the necessary permission to that IAM role. And user would be able to simply switch roles. And the best part is once you, uh, if your users, let's say the Steam user is using this web browser and not clearing the browser cache, he doesn't need to enter the account ID and role name again and again. No, he doesn't need to do that. Okay. So these details are cached over here. And if I have, uh, let's say if I have 10 AWS account for different, different environment, I'll see a list over here and I can just simply say switch and I can keep on switching to different, different account. I can just, uh, click the right ID from the list and I can switch to that particular account. Okay, so this was about cross account access using IAM roles. This is it for this video. I hope you like it. Thank you.